Fence. Sounds simple. Touch your opponent with your foil before they touch you. But Olympic level fencing requires just as much brain power as athletic ability. People call it physical chess, and it's really a sport where not only you have to have the physicality, but also have the brains for it. You are always thinking, you're never bored. Just have fun. So Chesley, Aisha, Crash, and I decided to try this game of physical chess. On guard. But first we have to learn the basics. Fencing's all about acting and reacting in fractions of seconds, which is why our first test was trying to catch a falling glove. Ready? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> moving in slow motion. So next up, learning the proper footwork. People don't realize it's not just about the weapon itself, the, the sword, the foil. What's important is actually your feet. That's what really determines whether or not you're actually going to hit someone. One, two, three, two advances. After our short lesson, the four of us gave it a go. We suited up in some protective but tight gear. Tight. Yeah, have to be tight. A little claustrophobic. Right. Right away, we knew we weren't anywhere close to Olympic level fencing. Our opponent was three-time Olympian Wally Moran and the owner of Lotus Fencing Academy. You're thinking of so many details while your legs and lungs burn. And even though you're pushing yourself physically, you're so preoccupied with tacti tactics and strategies that you kind of forget that you're, maybe your legs are burning a little or that you're out of breath. Look at Cheryl coming right at him. My heart rate is 140 after 60 seconds of fencing. For success in fencing, you have to be 100% perfect 100% of the time. You want to go far? Don't forget anything. Such fun, but so much harder than it looks.